Hey guys, welcome out. Corey here with Golden Press Studio coming at you with another video. Today we're in Procreate and I'm gonna show you guys how I put together this adventure style design. I think you're gonna like it and not only am I doing it, but you're doing it with me as well. Let's check it out. So recently, I put together a new vector pack that is on Golden Press's website that you guys can pick up. And the theme of that whole vector pack was outdoor camping, kind of hiking theme. And I wanted to show you guys how I put together one of those designs. I kind of did it in uh, a way, I don't always use this method, but I think it's a really useful thing. Um, and it's kind of by compositing a handful of different images together and creating a kind of rough draft to go off of. You can even follow along with me because we're gonna provide all the links to all the images that I use and the brushes and things like that. First thing I'm gonna be doing is uh, I'm gonna create a document. This is just one of my saved documents that I use pretty much every time. And uh, the resolution of that image, it's 3,456 pixels by 5,184 pixels. It's just a really large document. I think those work great, uh, especially if uh, you plan on vectorizing your artwork, which that's what I often do. We got Procreate open. Um, I'm actually gonna probably start out with this little red, red brush. I like to, and this little pencil brush that I got, I like to use it for sketches. It's just what I like to use. But, like I said, we're gonna be compositing some images together, and uh, let's go grab some images. All right, so this is the actual design that uh, I put together that's in the vector pack. And I'm just gonna kinda set this guy off to the side, it doesn't really matter. So where I got all my reference images that I'm gonna be using is from unsplash.com. It's a great website, uh, it's just free stock photography and I feel like they have a really good selection. Um, and like I said, we'll give you the links to all these images. So, you know, this guy, I like the hat that he's wearing, so we're gonna get this one, and we're just gonna, you know, download these images, and uh, we're just gonna get a handful of these different ones. All right, so we're gonna import these photos into Procreate, hit our little wrench, insert photo, we got them all right here, and I'm just gonna tap all of them, import them into uh, Procreate. There we go, these are all of our wonderful photos, we got them all right here. And I'm just gonna kind of scale these around just so we can see them. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of give myself a rough outline of what the scene I wanna be creating. Um, I really like this one right here with this guy standing on the road. I think that's kind of the kind of base layer of, of my design that I'm gonna start out with. And so I'm just gonna start laying things out and kind of cutting things out and putting them where I want them. With this one, I really like uh, this guy, I like his jacket and his backpack, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this little icon up there, and I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit that icon, and I'm just gonna do a very rough outline around this little hiking, backpacking guy. And I'm gonna hit my little uh, arrow, I'm gonna do a three finger swipe down, and I'm just gonna hit duplicate, and I can turn off that layer, and now, I got this guy, so I'm just gonna scale him up to how I, how I kind of want him, as if, you know, he's walking down this road. That's probably pretty close. I'm gonna do the same. I wanted to have this wide brim hat, uh, so I'm just gonna do the same thing with this hat, and I'm gonna put this hat on this dude. Kind of scale it to where it actually looks the right proportions. Maybe straighten it a little. Now I want to throw in some more mountains. So we got these mountains right here. And just the same thing, I'm just gripping and ripping these guys. Just doing a rough outline of, of just the section of mountains and things that I like. So that looks pretty good. Nice, we got ourselves a little mountain scene. And now I wanna throw in a couple extra pine trees off of this image. So I know right now this kind of composite looks a bit all over the place and looks a little chaotic, but really what this is doing is just giving us a nice little template to go off of for us to put down a rough sketch of the design that we want to create. So I'm just actually 
gonna draw a circle like this and hold my little finger on there and uh, just kind of position all this stuff where I want it because I want this to kind of be in a circle type of a design. All right, I think I'm good with this composition and now I'm just gonna put everything on the same layer, drop the opacity, and we're gonna start sketching out uh, what we want this design to look like. You can merge all your layers just by kind of grabbing them and squeezing them together, and that puts them all just together, and then you hit the little N, and you can lower the opacity. So I'm gonna go on this new layer right here. Um, I got, like I said, got my brush set to a red color and this better pencil from the Everyday Brush Pack. And I'm just going to start sketching out this design. You guys can just follow along with me. That right there is a pretty good rough draft and outline. And we got some pine trees, we got a field, we got a road, we got mountains. We got a guy with a backpack and a wide brim hat. And uh... Wow. Next thing I wanna do is uh, start inking this. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna switch over to a black color. And I'm going to use the uh, Tattoo Stipple Pack Brush Wet Ink Pen. It's just been one of my favorite brushes. Uh, you can use the Studio Pen in Procreate. It will definitely get the job done. I just really like this brush. Um, and you can pick it up with the uh, Tattoo Stipple Pack. It's a good one. Check it out. Link will be in the description. And I'm gonna drop the opacity on this design uh, just so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And now I'm gonna just start inking out this design and kind of taking my time and uh, finalizing this design. have it we got ourselves a, a pretty cool looking kind of adventure style design we got the mountains and the trees and all the stuff you guys can see that it looked kind of hectic here then we got a little bit more order and overall we got a really nice looking uh, kind of final product of this design so there you guys have it I'm happy with this design I hope you guys are happy with your design if you are following along uh, please tag us if, if uh, you went and did this, dude, post that up on Instagram, tag Golden Press in it. We would love to see what you guys are working on. You know, this concept that we just did uh, could be used for any other kind of design. It doesn't have to be just a design with mountains and a camper. You know, it could be whatever design you want. You know, you could straight do anything. You could do a race car. You can do a race car on a racetrack with a skeleton driving. You know, whatever you want, man. Uh, it's, I just think it's a really good method to use to help visualize and um, just kind of composite your own design and scene uh, before you go and just start, oh, I just want to draw a camper. And you just start whipping out your, your pen and your pencil. Lastly, if you liked this type of design and don't want to design it yourself, <laughs> go on Golden Press's website check out the outdoor vector pack i worked a lot on it and i think it turned out really cool I, li I like it a lot i hope you guys like it a lot and if you are not subscribed to this channel already please do so you can come back get more knowledge and uh if you enjoyed or even liked this video 
you could like this video. That would be cool too. <laughs> hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you had a great time here. And we will see you in the next video. We'll see you in the next air and we'll see you in the next there. <laughs> we'll see you there and we'll arf on you later. <laughs> arf? <laughs>